Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here. And this video will be about the LSU Tigers and Florida game coming up on this Saturday. But before I get started, if you do, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, click all notifications, and give the video a thumbs up. All right, LSU Florida this Saturday in the swamp. Uh, both teams coming off losses. LSU had a, uh, I thought they uh, had a, a bad loss. Florida, not so much. Uh, Florida, not so much. Their loss. But LSU played horrible against Missouri. Couldn't stop anything. I think Missouri, I think Missouri only punted one time in a whole football game. Um, it, it, I mean, LSU's defense couldn't stop them. Could not stop them at all. If it wasn't for the turnovers, LSU would have lost this game by 21 points. I mean, LSU would LSU, LSU would have gotten blown out by 21 points if this if it wasn't for the turnovers. Turnovers kept LSU in the game. And uh, uh, they had a chance at the end. To win the game, they had the ball on the goal line, had four cracks at it, couldn't get it in. But uh, LSU didn't deserve to win that game. Uh, even if they, even if they, even if they had punched that ball in uh, at the end of the game, they didn't deserve that game. So the better, the better, the best, the better team won that game against uh, when Missouri played LSU last week. Uh, now, said Florida, no Florida's defense isn't that good. I think LSU's, I think LSU's defense is worse than Florida's. As bad as Florida's defense is, I think they played better offenses. I think they play better offenses in Ole Miss. Ole Miss has a very good offense with Lane Kiffin. I think AM, and uh, I think they have a better offense. When I say better offense, better offense than, better offenses than LSU's face this year. LSU's played Vanderbilt, uh, Mississippi State, and Missouri. So I think Florida has played better offenses than we have. That's why I say LSU's defense is worse than Florida's. Uh, LSU's defense can't cover. I mean, they've had, they've had missed assignments all year long. Yeah, they played better against Vanderbilt, but like I said in my Vanderbilt video, post game video, I wasn't going to get too excited about it because it was Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt stinks. Uh, uh, look at look at Mississippi State. Mississippi State has played two games since they played LSU, and Mississippi State they they they're horrible. They played horrible against Arkansas. Then they played uh, Kentucky last week, or this past weekend. Uh, so LSU's defense, I don't know how they're going to fix it. Uh, the linebackers are horrible. Uh, Damone Clark, I think uh, Damone Clark is horrible. Uh, Jabril Cox is okay, but the linebackers are a problem. Uh, I mean, the teams are getting five yards, five yards of carry, uh, minimum, every time they touch the football. Vanderbilt had no problem throwing the football against us. Uh, Missouri uh, had no problem running the ball against LSU. Now Mississippi State didn't run the ball. I mean, that's how Mike Leach's offense is. They're not going to run the football. So, yeah, Mississippi State only ran the ball for nine yards, but they didn't They didn't attempt to run the football. But these last two teams did, and they have uh, they gashed LSU. They gashed LSU. LSU's going to have a hard time covering Pitts, uh, Tony. Uh, yeah, Pitts and Tony. Uh, they're going to have they're going to have a career day, career uh, days against LSU. If, they're, if LSU's defense performs like they have been performing, what's, what's going to change? I don't know. As uh, Pierce, the running back for uh, for Florida, I mean, uh, he, I mean, uh, LSU can't stop anything right now. I just don't have any faith that LSU is going to put any kind of defensive effort. Uh, I mean, they just, I mean, I know they lay both around, they blow coverages. I don't know if it's scheme. I don't know if the, the players don't understand the scheme. If the players don't understand the scheme, then why are you running them? Uh, that's that's the question I have. If the players can't grasp it, if they can't, uh, if they don't know what they're doing, then why are you calling that play? Uh, obviously, obviously these plays are, uh, these defensive calls that they're doing in practice aren't working because they're not working in games. Uh, there's no way, there's no way in hell they're working in these these schemes that they're practicing defensively are working when they're practicing but not translating the games. So something's wrong. Something's off. Either yeah, something's off there. They're they're going to have to simplify things, which Ogeron said that they uh, will do. Um, which they should have been doing ever since Mississippi State. Mississippi State really exposed a lot with LSU's defense. Uh, getting Stingley back, everybody thought that that was just going to be the missing piece. And, uh, well, like I said, it worked for Vanderbilt, but they're playing Vanderbilt. Uh, didn't work last week at all. As uh, I mean, uh, like, I, like I said, the linebackers, are a the linebackers are a problem. Linebackers are, you know, your, one of your first defenses in the run game. I mean, uh, I mean, if they got to come up and make plays. They got to they got to stop. They got to they got to break the uh, you know they got to break through the line and stop them behind the line of scrimmage. Stop them for no gain. Don't let them get five six yards of carry. When you get them when they let them get five six yards of carry, I mean it's second and four. I mean then you can do then uh, as an offense you can do a lot 
on second and four as opposed to third and ten, third and eleven. So uh, when you get them in predictable down distance, I mean your defense can uh, you know, call a better defensive play. But uh, I mean LSU, LSU going into the year, I thought the problem was going to be quarterback. Uh, I thought Miles Brennan was going to struggle. Uh, he's played better than I thought. I know he's played three. Uh, he's played three of the you know, worst teams in the league so far. Uh, we have a lot better teams that we're going to play later on. But I thought he. I think he's played better than I thought he was going to play. I think he has like 11 touchdown passes. I think he has. Uh, I think three interceptions, three or four. I think three. So 11 touchdowns, three interceptions. I mean, he's played better than I thought he was going to play. Uh, I thought quarterback would be the problem for LSU this year. Doesn't seem that doesn't seem like the case. Seems it seems the defense and uh, the running game. Running game. I know they. I know uh, they didn't have uh, Ingram on the line uh, this week, or this past week for LSU. Um, and it seemed like it seemed like it, it hurt as uh, they couldn't run the football. They couldn't. They couldn't break holes like they did uh, against Vanderbilt. Like I said, you know, it was Vanderbilt, but still, um, they just couldn't. They, they just couldn't do anything. Um, offensively, couldn't run the football. As uh, they're gonna have to, but they're gonna have to run the football this week if they want any kind of chance to beat Florida. I mean, they gotta, they, we gotta keep our, we gotta keep our defense off the field. We gotta keep, we gotta keep our piss poor defense off the field. Um, I just don't see any. I mean, I just don't see any way LSU can win this football game. Going into the swamp was gonna be, was gonna be, a, was gonna be a struggle. Any, was gonna be a struggle anyway. Even if we were three and out. Let's say LSU was. Let's say the Tigers were three zero, and uh, their defense uh, bounced back after the first week, and they played well these past two weeks. Um, it still was going to be. A, it still was going to be a tough game, going into the swamp. Uh, now it's even tougher uh, with your defense giving up. Uh, you know, thirty some points a game. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to you know discount the uh, Vanderbilt game. So we gave up what forty four against Mississippi State and forty. Five against Missouri, so 40 points. If LSU defense gives up, gives up 40 points a game, 40 points against uh, Florida, they're not winning at all. Uh, LSU's offense, like I said, LSU's offense has been okay. 34 points against Mississippi State, 41 against uh, Vanderbilt, and 41 against Missouri. So the uh, the point, the team offense is putting up points. Yeah, you can nitpick around the, you can you can uh, nitpick if you want about the. Uh, Third down, the third down, which uh, which uh, LSU has had a problem converting third downs this year, and also red zone. But uh, I mean, they put up they put up enough points last week to win the game. Forty one points, they should have won the game, but uh, they didn't. That's what I call, that's what it comes down to. They didn't win the game. So uh, you know, part of me said part of part of me says, man, well, watch this game between Florida be a twenty seventeen game. Watch these defense, both defenses have great week of practices. And uh, they they perform like uh, everybody thought they were going to perform this year. As uh, nobody nobody I don't think anybody really thought that these two defenses were going to be awful. But as a as a whole, the SEC the whole SEC besides Georgia isn't playing defense. Alabama's not playing defense. Ole Miss, uh, LSU, Florida. I mean, you go down the list. A lot of there's a lot of, there's a lot of teams not playing uh, defense. Teams that were supposed to have a defense like uh, Alabama, LSU, Florida. Uh, I mean, those. The, I mean, those teams were supposed to have a defense. Uh, Georgia's defense is phenomenal. They got they got the best defense in the, in the conference. Uh, they had the best defense in the conference. Uh, so, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going. I, I, I just. I mean, I mean, I mean. Of course, I, I want. Of course, I want LSU to win this uh, Saturday. I just. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it with the way their defense is playing and uh, with their uh, problems running the football. Uh, Maybe Ingram will come back this week against Florida, and uh, it will help the offensive line out because he is a very good player for us, uh, one of our better offensive linemen. Um, I mean, you know, if man's a butt, you know, but uh, if he was in a game with LSU scored on that goal line late in the game, who knows? I mean, it's all, uh, it's all, you know, it's, you don't know. You can just, uh, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I look with the over-under. What's the over-under? What's the over-under in this game? That might be a safe bet <laughs> with the way these defenses are playing. But like I said, uh, watch this watch this game watch this game be like 25-20 or something like that. Watch these watch these teams struggle on offense this week. Uh, 
wouldn't be surprising. But uh, hopefully, I will. Hopefully, I'll be able to call the game this Saturday. Uh, say it's at three thirty Eastern, two thirty Central. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and go Tigers.